the story begins with the birth of a creature called Chaos Pearl. The pearl was born from the forces of nature over thousands of years. The pearl kept getting stronger and stronger after sucking up all kinds of power from the world. However, it absorbed both good and evil forces equally. A pearl that doesn't know the difference between right and wrong and could cause chaos wherever it went. That is called the Chaos Pearl. It was so dangerous that the highest god in heaven has to send two of his best immortal monks, Tai Xinren and Shen Gongbao, to deal with it. But they are no match for the pearl, which has grown too strong after feeding on energy for so long. At last, the Supreme Lord has to step in himself and trap the pearl in a vase. Then he divides it with his magic into two parts, the Spirit Pill and the Demon Pill. To keep them secure, he places them in a magical lotus flower. He cursed the demon pill with a lightning bolt that would destroy it in three years since it is too evil to be rescued. The spirit pill, on the other hand, had some value, therefore, he allows it to be resurrected as a human. He picked a famed warrior Li Jin's third son to be the spirit pill's new host. He isn't born yet, but he has already been given the name, Naza. Then the supreme lord gives the magical lotus to the immortal monk Tai, and commands him to care for the pearl until the commander Li Jin had a son. The Supreme Lord instructed him to ensure the baby was born inside the spirit pill. The reward for Tai for completing this duty will be that he will become the twelfth god of immortality in heaven. While he was ecstatic about his promotion, Tai's brother, Monk Shen Dongbao became extremely jealous of his little brother. He thought that the Supreme Lord did not assign him the duty of keeping the pearls because of his monstrous background. The hidden evil monster in him came alive, and he decided to make sure that his brother would not succeed in his mission. When the Za is about to be born, the Taiyi comes to earth to find Li Jin and his wife, Lady Yen, who has been pregnant for three years. The people of the town of Chinteng come to the fortress of Commander Li Jin in celebration and joy when they hear the news that Lady Yen is about to give birth. The Taiyi realizes that the time to release the spirit pearl has come that was kept in the magical lotus. When Taiyi starts to release the spirit pearl, his monster brother conspires. Shen cast a spell on one of the servants of Commander Li to control him, which makes him steal the spirit pill. Eventually, in the hassle, the demon pill, which is destined to be destroyed by lightning curse, is reincarnated as the Lee Sun. Everything is too late to make things right as the red shadow of the demon pill approaches Lady Lin when she is about to give birth. The demon has been awakened with the birth, and he is reincarnated as baby Naza. On the other hand, the controlled servant gives a spirit pill to the Shen, which he intends to use against the Supreme Lord Neya to seek revenge for not giving him a chance to become the twelfth immortal god of the heavens. Meanwhile, Naza appears as a big round ball with a red symbol on his forehead. Just after coming from her mother's womb, the child becomes an indestructible red ball destroying everything around him. To tame this energetic child, Lord Taiyi uses the Chinchuan hoop to confront him and attack him. However, just as he is about to hit him, Li interrupts and reminds Taiyi that the destructive ball is his son. Taiyi reminds him that the cold is the reincarnation of the demon pill, and they need to stop him, or else he will destroy the world. But Naza's mother stops him and begs him not to hurt her child. As this was happening, an older man came and reminded Li that they had been fighting the demons for years, and it was not wise to have one amongst them. Li gets worried about his village thinking such things about his son, but he knows that they are right in their way. He then informs his people that his child is a victim of misfortune. He then promises his people that he will tame Naza by teaching him control and giving him an education. As if Li cannot get more worried, Taiyi tells him that Naza only has three years to live because of the lighting curse. After learning this, Lord Li decides that he will try his best to plead with the Supreme Lord to revert the curse. When all of this is happening, Shen gives the spirit pill to the Dragon King, who infuses it into his son to make his son as powerful as a god. The Dragon King entrusts his son to the Shin to be his master. He tells the story about how the dragons are confined in chains, deep underwater. Apparently, the Supreme Lord took the dragons' help to defeat the demons a few thousand years ago, but in the end, the dragons realized that they had been deceived and tried to revolt against the Supreme Lord. In the end, by his mighty powers, the Supreme Lord imprisoned them all deep in the sea so they could not rise again. The dragon believes that by using the spirit pill, he will be freed from prison and will reach heaven again. Eventually, a dragon child is born, and he is named Ao Bing. Meanwhile, Taiyi takes Li to the void portal so that he can meet with the Supreme Lord and talk to him about the curse. However, their trip turns into a disappointment when they realize that the Supreme Lord is not present. A cloud-like figure called Chang Xingyun, who is in charge of the void portal, tells him that his master and some of his god pals are attending some meetings. Li insists that he has to meet him as someone under heaven made a curse, and he wants the Lord to call it off. The clingy cloud tells him it was useless to meet him as the curse which he put on the demon pill is unbreakable. 
Lee realizes that his son's fate is inevitable, and he feels devastated at that moment. Tai consoles him and says that they both have to return back to make sure Naza's every day is spent well. In the meantime, Naza on Earth feels lonely as no one in Chintang Pass likes him. Her mother comes to meet him, but he shows rude behavior as she doesn't give him much time. Still, Lady Yin tells him that she wants to play with him. Naza's heart melts at her words, and he gives in. Suddenly they are interrupted by some soldiers who tell her that there is some emergency that needs her immediate attention. Lady Yin leaves, and this makes Naza angry. He thinks that she always chooses the village over him. Previously, to protect the common people, Tai built a barrier around Naza's living place so he could not go outside. As she is leaving, Lady Yin scolds the dragon's guards to be more careful of Naza going outside of the barrier. After Lady Yin leaves, Naza tricks the guards again and sneaks out of his safe place. People of the Chen Tang Pass get afraid and start hiding from him after hearing his voice. Naza starts playing pranks on the boys. One of the boys becomes angry and calls him a demon which makes Naza so mad that he throws a rock at the boys, but in the meantime, his father and Tai intervene to save the boys and take Naza home. Back at his shelter, Lee tightens the barrier around Naza so that he cannot come outside his room again. Ian becomes hopeless and thinks that it is Naza's fate and that whatever they will do will not help him. She requests Lee that they need to resign from their positions and take him to the mountains so that he can enjoy his remaining time with freedom. Tai says the mistake was on him, so as retribution, he will take Naza as his apprentice and shape the demon pill into a demon fighting warrior. Tai takes an Aiza into the world of painting, shows him the magic of Kunlun, and tells him that he can spend every day here learning the immortal magic of Kunlun with him. He becomes his master and teaches him a disguise spell through which he can take the shape of whoever he wants. Naza perfects the disguise spell only in one day, while it takes six months for Tai to master it. Not only does he learn it in a day, but he also plays a prank on Tai. Immortal Tai is amazed by it, and in awe, he tells him that he will teach him eternal magic to defeat demons and fight monsters, but Naza refuses to train to fight demons. In the meantime, Naza's mother tells him that she knows that he wants people's admiration. Naza refuses and says that people see him as a demon, and he will show them what real monsters look like. Lord Lee comes and says that he will tell him the truth about why people are so afraid of Naza. Lady Yin says that he is the spirit pearl, and Naza gets surprised after hearing this. Tai then tells him that the spirit pearl is a secret weapon of that supreme lord to the mortal realm and is sent to protect the earth. Lady Yin advises him to win people and treat them as a family so that they return the favor in the future. For the next two years, Naza trains in the painting realm to fight demons. He easily defeats the demons in the painting world, but Lord Lee tells him that he might hurt innocent in the real fight and needs to be more careful about it. Tai takes his weapon and urges him to meditate. Naza doesn't accept it and tricks Tai and gets his brush to escape from the painting realm to fight demons. Back on the earth, Naza finds a demon who is trying to eat Dose. He starts fighting with the demon and, in doing so, destroys half of the town. People get afraid of Naza and think he got mad. The demon then starts running and takes the little girl with him. Naza sees this and runs after the girl. However, a villager boy, who never really liked Naza, sees all of this and thinks that Naza is trying to kidnap the girl. He starts shouting and gathering people. Meanwhile, the demon runs toward the sea, but then a strange man comes and freezes the surface so the demon can't escape. He finally takes the little girl and brings her back to safety. Naza gets angry because he wanted to save that child. And in his naive head, he wants to achieve that dream. So, like any other mad thing he has ever done, Naza starts fighting the mysterious man. During their fight, the man's scarf falls, revealing his identity. Naza notices two dragon horns on his head and the man tries to conceal them. However, they both don't realize that the demon has used bubbles to spread toxins in the air. Naza touches one of them and realizes that it has the power to turn them into stone. On the other hand, this doesn't stop the masked, now not so masked guy from dodging them and saving a poor girl. However, when he looks down at the girl, the man realizes that the demon's saliva has the same poisonous effect. But it's too late now because the man turns into stone along with the innocent little girl. In sheer hate and anger, Naza defeats the demon using the mysterious man's body. He finally forces the demon to give him his disgusting goo, which actually is the antidote for the poison. When he gets better, the masked man introduces himself to Naza and tells him his name is Ao Bing. He pays his respects and thanks Naza for saving his life. The child Yehya also thanks Naza for saving her by giving him a small flower. Naza feels good for the first time, and he starts playing with Ao Bing. As a token of appreciation, Ao Bing gives Naza a shell and calls him his only friend and then disappears as he sees people coming. People accuse Naza that he kidnapped the girl, 
but he insisted that he is the one who saved the little child otherwise she is going to be the food of the demon. People do not believe him and tell him they do not see any demons. One child calls Naza a demon which makes him angry, and he hits the kid. All the people get angry and start beating Naza which makes him even more violent, and he starts hitting people. Then Lord Lee and Lady Een come and stop Naza. An older man appears from the crowd and tells Lord Ai that Naza has destroyed their village and kidnapped our little old man, urging Lord Lee that he must lock this demon child. Ao Bing returns and tells his father and master about his mission and his new friend. When he says his name is Naza, his master says that he is a demon pill and their enemy. He reminds him that they have been waiting for three years for the day when the dragons can be free. He says that when the lightning strikes and the demon pill causes chaos, Ao Bing will save Chin Tang Pass and claim his birthright as the spirit pearl. Then Ao Bing's father, the Dragon King, tells him that the dragons were once powerful and respected. They fought monsters for the Supreme Lord and became Dragon Kings. But the Supreme Lord made them guard the monster's prison under the sea. They became trapped in this pit and lost their freedom. The Spirit Pearl is their only hope to escape. The Immortal Shin told him that he could remove his horns in a year to hide his dragon identity. If Ao Bing succeeds on the Day of Reckoning, he will earn a place in heaven. He will also free the dragons from this underwater hell. The Dragon King tells Ao Bing that he carries the fate of the dragons and he should not be deceived by friendship. In the meantime, Naza is in his room, sad and not eating food for days. Then Lady Yin comes and tells him that his birthday is 10 days away, and the people of Chinteng Pass will celebrate Naza's birthday. After hearing this, Naza gets happy. Lord Lee asks Lady Yin why she lied to him that people want to celebrate and tells him that people want him to be locked up. Lady Yin urges Lord Ai that she wants to see Naza happy even if she needs to lie about it. Lord Lee tells her that he is going to convince people so that they will celebrate his birthday. Naza blows the shell to the seashore, and suddenly Ao Bing appears. Naza tells him that the birthday party will be in 10 days and everyone from Chintang Pass will be there. He gives him a map of the party's location and tells him that he does not care if the people of Chintang Pass come or not. Ao Bing promises him that he will be there for his birthday. Each of the dragons gives Ao Bing their hardest scale to make armor for his protection to prepare him for a fight on Naza's birthday. Then the Dragon King reminds him that the fate of dragons depends on him. As Naza for busy in preparation for his birthday, suddenly Shingong Bao appears in his room, introduces himself, and tells him he is here to reveal Naza's true identity. Naza comes out with an angry expression full of hate on the stage which was specially prepared for his birthday after learning the truth from Shingong Bao. Tai Jinren gives Naza a fire-tipped spear, and chaotic silk as a gift and tells him that it belongs to him now and gives him his precious pig which changes into anything according to user's perspective. His father Lord Lee gives him protection charm. Naza starts getting rude with an angry expression and tells his father that he believed in him. Still, he lied about the demon pill and told them that now he knows everything. That's why he told him that he is a spirit pill because he wanted to lock him up. Then Naza says the spell, and Qian Kuan Hoop releases him making him a demon. He starts attacking people. Lord Lee tries to stop him, but he attacks him. Taiyi tells them that Naza is possessed by a demon and the Qian Kuan Hoop is the only way to stop him. Shen holds the Qian Kuan hoop and reveals his plan to Ao Bing. He says that Naza will eliminate Taiyi and then be imprisoned by his parents. A lightning strike will destroy him and the prison. When the smoke clears, the villagers will hail Ao Bing as a hero, and the Supreme Lord will make him a god. Ao Bing protests and says that Naza's parents and Taiyi are innocent, and that they should save them. Shen asks him how he will explain his lie to the Supreme Lord if they survive. He also tells him about his own suffering as a jaguar spirit who was always rejected and seen as a monster. Ao Bing pleads with his master to let him repay his debt to Naza by saving his parents and his master. Shen reluctantly agrees and lets him go. Naza, possessed by the demon, attacks his father with a spear. Ao Bing intervenes and saves Lord Li. He gives the Qian Kuan hoop to Taiyi, who uses it to trap the demon. Naza regains his senses but runs away into the forest, angry and confused. Lord Lee suspects that Ao Bing is a dragon and pulls off his cloak, revealing his true form. The people are shocked to see a dragon among them. Taiyi notices the mark on Ao Bing and realizes that he is connected to the theft of the spirit pearl. Ao Bing tries to flee, but Shen appears and confesses that he stole the spirit pearl and that Ao Bing is his disciple. He orders Ao Bing to eliminate everyone who knows their secret, saying it is necessary for their survival. Ao Bing is furious and unleashes his power over the seawater. He covers Chintang Pass with a layer of ice, intending to bury everyone under it. Back in the forest, Naza vents his anger by punching trees. Taiyi gives him a spear and shows him a memory of his father, Lordly, 
visiting the realm of the Supreme Lord. There, he meets Qing Xingyun, a cloud spirit, who tells him that he can't break the curse on Niza, but he can use a transplant spell to swap fates with a relative who is willing to pass away for him. Lord Li agrees to sacrifice himself and asks Tai to keep it a secret from his wife. Tai warns him that his sacrifice will be useless as the demon pill will bring disaster and the Supreme Lord will not spare him. Lord Li says that he will use his remaining time to train Niza and make him a hero in the eyes of the people. Niza opens the protection charm that his father gave him and finds fate swapping spell inside. He becomes full of emotions and love for his father after learning about his father's sacrifice. Ao Bing uses his seawater power to create a massive ice sheet that threatens to crush Chintang Pass. Lord Li and Lady Yin try to stop him, but his dragon armor protects him. Niza arrives and joins the fight, angry at Ao Bing's betrayal. Ao Bing boasts that his power is unlimited with the hoop and that Niza can't defeat him. Niza transforms into Shen and attacks Ao Bing, but it doesn't work. Meanwhile, Tai Yi and Shen clash and exchange insults. Shen claims that he will become the twelfth immortal. The four of them end up in a painting realm, where they fight for the brush that is the only way out. Niza kicks the brush and they escape from the painting. Ao Bing hits Niza in the back as he saves his parents. He turns into a dragon and pushes the ice sheet down on Shintang Pass. Niza recites the spell to become a demon again, but he stays in control. He flies up to stop the ice sheet from falling. Ao Bing tells him to stop resisting, and accept his destiny as a demon. Niza replies that he is the master of his fate and he can choose not to be a demon. Niza unleashes his firepower and shatters the ice, saving Chintang Pass. He overpowers Ao Bing, but he doesn't stab him with his spear. Ao Bing asks why he spares him. Niza says that he is his only friend and that his time is running out. He tells him to go and live as a spirit pearl, not a monster. He says that he can choose his own fate and not let anyone else define him. He remembers his father's words, if fate comes at you swinging, you hit it back. Niza tied up his parents so they can't interfere. He tears the fate paper and tells them that he has to face his destiny. He says that he enjoyed his three years of life, but he regrets never playing Jianzi with his father. His mother cries, and he tells her not to cry on his birthday. He bows to his parents and thanks them. He flies up to the sky, where lightning strikes him. Ao Bing appears, and shields him with his dragon scale armor, but it breaks. Shen curses Ao Bing for ruining his plans and flies away. Niza scolds Ao Bing for sacrificing himself for nothing. Ao Bing says that he did it because he is his friend. They laugh and hold hands. They feel a surge of power, and absorb the lightning energy with the Chaos Pearl. They release the energy back to the lightning and get sucked into it. Tai Yi throws a multicolored lotus at them, and everything vanishes. Lady Yin finds the lotus and opens it. She sees Niza and Ao Bing inside it. She thinks they are alive, but Tai Yi tells her that the lotus only preserves their souls, not their bodies. He says that he lost his chance to become the twelfth immortal and that he will have to start over again. Niza's mother cries with joy. The people come and bow to Niza, thanking him for saving them. Niza has not only changed his fate, but also saved his town.